Hi everyone, welcome back to episode 2 and round 3. So, Germany, under heavy pressure from the Allies, from all angles. Um, going for infantry, obviously again, that's the only thing we will be going for. Infantry and a few artillery mixed in. Um, we'll just pause here quickly just to highlight a few things. So, the Allies doing a really good job um, of mobilising quickly and attacking quickly and efficiently. You can see here Norway and Finland have already fallen to a combined attack from America, uh, Tem 7 and Ibaxter. So there's no chance of me getting that back now at least. Um, and we've got uh, British troops from Egypt also pushing into Libya. So my uh, my lads in Africa are getting squeezed from Morocco as well from the US troops. So <laughs> it's pretty nasty. And you can see as well that Ibaxter's put some fights into West Russia. So yeah, a nice sort of combined defence of that. Meaning I'm never going to be able to really get in there if it's if it's defended, you know, like that. It's just, it's just too strong. So my job now is just to try and, yeah, try and hold my border provinces. Now I'm thinking of attacking something here. Um, may as well attack the troops in Libya. Because if I can break through, I can make, I maybe get to Egypt as well. Which would be nice, just to cause the uh, the British problems down in Africa. Um, so Porto is getting as well. Um... Japan, Keanu leaves. Now his plan, we, we know at this point obviously that we're, I'm getting he heavily targeted as a KGF. So he's going to go for um, India, which I think is the, is the good move here. Um, it gets him a nice complex, not too far from the Caucasus, obviously to keep the, um, the pressure on Russia. Because the Caucasus can often become the, the focal point of the struggle between Germany, Russia and Japan, all the Allied forces. Because it's, it's a very valuable complex to control for either side. Um, so if Keanu can get in there, then that could really give me a chance to actually, you know, survive and possibly push out a little bit. So going for that's going to be good. But the key there, I think, is taking India first because obviously Ibax has got some troops there. He's got a lot of fighters defending India. Um, so knocking that out, if in round three, if possible, is going to be really, really useful for us. Um, so he, he's gone for that. Um, obviously, he's mobilised a lot of troops in the area. He's got transports. Um, there's a lot of fighters standing by for the attack. So. Hopefully this round we can take it. That's the plan anyway. But for me, it's about hopefully this round moving into Karelia and trying to control it a bit. There's there's very little attacking options I have this round. I can't go for West Russia. I think any attacks on the Caucasus, obviously I can't do that. Um, Archangel as well, not really necessary. It's a it's a one IPC province. It's not worth me sending infantry out there. So it's it's just I can't really do much attacking wise anyway this round. Um, Not ideal in Libya. Yeah, we, we didn't get the roles we really wanted there. And shame we lost the tank as well. So we lost all our African troops now, which is disappointing. If we'd have beaten that final tank, we would have had obviously a, a bit of, you know, a possibility to try and cause some problems down there. But obviously, as, as it stands, no, we, we can't. So moving fully into Korea now, we are committing to trying to hold that for a little bit. Um, the way it's feeling right now, the pressure, I don't think... <laughs> it's going to last for long. We will probably have to pull out at some point. Um, but for now, we're going to try and control it and try and obviously uh, drop a few troops there, in, you know, round by round. Um, so yeah, we're putting the artillery into Karelia. Obviously, we want to uh, have our attacking power up front. Um, 10 infantry defending Germany. Yeah, so... Interesting. I think I have to commend the Allied team as a whole for the pressure they're putting on me. I think it's been, yeah, that they're doing doing it really efficiently, and it's it's giving me nothing basically. Um, so <laughs> you can feel the snowball starting to starting to roll now because it's um, yeah they've got a lot of troops already um, in Norway and Finland ready to move out against Karelia. West Russia is safe, um, and it's just a case of me now trying to hold on to those border problems as long as I can. But yeah. Rough round three. Okay, jumping into round four. So, the two major things to note, I think, in this round. Uh, what well, they have in round three, I suppose. Um, Keanu was successful in taking India, which is huge for us. Um, it's a really nice attack, really nice build-up from him. Um, that could prove really useful for us in the future, definitely. Um, Tem7 did manage to take uh, France, which is kind of a pest for me. Uh, and Northwestern Europe as well has fallen, which is difficult because... At the moment, I've got limited troops on the ground, um, and I've also got limited attacking power um, in Berlin. I've only got 10 infantry, so I, well, if I need to attack, I'm going to have to be supporting them with fighters from Karelia. Um, 
Now, this is the problem having only three fighters. Uh, obviously, I'm stretched. I'm really stretched already. I would love those two extra fighters um, from round one for, for this situation right here because I'm I'm struggling to cover all bases comfortably. Having the aerial, you know, support on attacks on well, everywhere is just so valuable. Um, it just gives you that security to take more provinces um, with less land troops. But given the situation, I'm having to really sort of think about what I'm attacking with and where <laughs> because I've got such limited air aerial support, which is frustrating for me. I would have liked here as well to try and take back nor Northwestern Europe if I had the, the manpower because they've got two tanks and two fighters sitting there, which would have be been quite a nice, you know, target. But I don't have the troops to do it, unfortunately. And obviously France is the, is the priority here because it's worth 6 IPC. I can't let that remain allied, so it needs to fall. Um, so that's obviously the priority. So we're going to leave Northwestern Europe this this time. Um, I don't have the fighter power to, to you know, take that back, unfortunately. But we're going for a bit more of an attack here. Um, they've left uh, uh, Finland open, which is interesting. So I'm going to try and take back something there. Maybe get into uh, Norway if we can as well. Um, attacking Archangel, West Russia, Ukraine, uh, and Belarusia. All trying to get a bit more control back over, over Europe. <laughs> Unfortunate rolls there for Belarusia. We get out in the second round though, no, no losses there, that's good. Keep out for France. Decent hits back. Unfortunately, terrible rolls for the second uh, second round for the infantry. Didn't cost us though. So not terrible attack on France. As good as we could have expected, I suppose. Six infantry remain in France. They won't last though. We're well aware of this. Fairly lucky on the defense, on the offensive rolls for um, for us there. We didn't take too many hits there, which is good. This was a shame. So that's two units down for nothing, which is disappointing. Um, obviously, at this stage, it's it's every unit we're losing is costly because we need them, and obviously for the uh, the future defense of Berlin. <laughs> so anything we lose here is going to be costly. But yeah, it's um, not a terrible round for us. I think combined with the fact that obviously Keanu took India, um, it wasn't a terrible uh, few rounds for us or a few few turns. Uh, so here the problem is obviously trying to reinforce everything. Um, I'm trying to be aware of Berlin's situation. I can't leave it too vulnerable because obviously the British have got troops now on the ground which they can use to attack with also their transports, you know. Um, so it's, I've got to make sure Berlin is safe. Um, and this will probably be the last of the troops that actually head to Corellia because obviously I need to be retaking France now. France is going to be a, a key target for the Allies, just get, getting in there and controlling it. So I need to have troops on the ground to retake that as well as protect Berlin sufficiently. So there won't be any more troops from this round going to Corellia, so that'll be the last I get unless I drop them into, you know, so deploy into Corellia directly. Um, I also need to make sure that Corellia has got a strong enough garrison to withstand an attack from possibly Russia, but then also Britain and UK, uh, sorry, and the US, because I've got tanks sitting in there which need to be protected. So they're currently safe; it's fine for the moment. But if we start wearing down our troops, our troop numbers in Corellia, then I need to be just prepared to move the tanks away because I can't afford to lose the, those tanks. They're going to be vital for defence of you know Berlin in the uh, the later game, as we're expecting that to happen. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just making sure we've got adequate defence in all the key areas. Unfortunately, we've lost Africa as well. So the allies, the allies do control Africa, so now it's going to be up to Keanu to obviously move move out, given he's got control of India now. Um, and try and snap up some provinces. So he'll be doing a hard push now, um, not only in Asia, but in Africa, and also going for Honolulu as well to try and divert some attention away from me, um, trying to keep Tem7 uh, thinking in the Pacific, get him, get him guessing. But yeah, so we're hanging in thus far. I think Keanu is the key, obviously, for our team now. Um, I'm just playing a defensive role at this point. It's going to be Keanu is going to be the key, the key 
aggressor in this one, trying to snap up my PC to try and, you know, gather our strength. But no, great play from the Allies so far. Um, but yeah, got to hang in there for Keanu.